who doesn't know about those Dragon Balls? What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joe Crew DMD, and today I got a meme deck profile. I got a meme deck. Can I get on my check? Can I check my microphone? My meme, my deck. This is a meme deck profile that I won. Fight Night S Champion Joe Crew Content Creator Heavyweight Battle Meme Deck Showdown. I got Kyle Ken by Spear in the first game, and then I came back with the Kyle Ken in game three, but I came out with the Kyle Ken Blue, which everybody knows Kyle Ken Blue is obviously stronger than Sand Saga Kyle Ken. Who doesn't know that? But who doesn't know about those Dragon Balls? Who doesn't know about that kind of Dragon Balls stuff? Anyway, uh, this is a meme deck. This works really well if your opponent doesn't know how it goes. I actually didn't really know that well how it goes until I hit up Frank Nasso because he's the one that showed me the deck. Shout out to you, Frank, and the Hermit Style crew. This deck is a, the sauce, and especially when somebody doesn't know what it does, it's kind of crazy. So I'm just going to run through the deck, show you guys how it plays, and include a link to the DBS Deck Planet deck profile. So you can go ahead and click that if you want to see what are the cards in the deck because that's just boring for me to go but it's interesting how the deck plays so i'm gonna run it check it out this is the heavyweight this is the fight night x heavyweight content creator champion joku dmd king of the shrippum uh pirates conundrum thank you so much all right so we got this dude he's the leader crimson warrior goku the the better soul striker as as the real gamers know all right so in your opening hand yeah you probably want to keep hatch and this and uh, you really want to see Trunks. Trunks is really, really good. So actually, you know what? I'm just going to keep uh, this target and hatch and get rid of the rest of this chain. All right, so that's pretty good. We're going to assume we're going turn one with this deck because you always want to go turn one with this deck. So the first thing you do is play this kind hired Sam Goku, look through top seven, look through top seven and add a Goku to our hand. And then we're going to pass turn. So our opponent's going to swing into us. When they swing into us, we can discard this card, draw a card, and take that life. And then let's say they swing at us again, we can discard another to draw another card, and then we'll take that hit. And then we're going to go for our turn, draw a card. We'll just charge our secret rare just to flex. It's usually a pretty good flex. We have two really good looking cards in our energy, which is important in meme decks to flex and, you know, style and have really good looking cards. So the first thing we want to do is pay one for Trunks. Trunks is going to bounce his Goku to the bottom of the deck. He's also going to bounce one of their battle cards. And then you get to search through your deck for a Tapion. You want to get the Hidden Darkness Tapion. Really you want four of these, but I only have two foils, so I can only run two. And the other two are the SPR Tapion from set 14. But ideally you want to have, you want to have, uh, four of these because this is the one that actually makes the deck work so you go ahead and you swing with trunks when you swing with trunks you combo this to go to 25 and that's wow three cards off the top of your deck so ideally you want to get three sands which well i'm nasty at this so that's three sands and uh once that's happened then you can take five sands from your drop area put them under your leader and awaken untap an energy and draw three cards so here you can uh, pay one and go into Path to the Infinite. So Path to the Infinite comes out, Trunks yosh, comes yosh, back to your hand. And then you can swing with your leader. When you swing with your leader, you'll untap an energy and draw a card. And they'll have to deal with that swing. And then once they're done dealing with that swing, you can pay two energy and swing into this guy. Oh my god! Though. Turn into him. It's going to send all their cards back to their hand, ignoring barrier because it doesn't choose. And then when he swings, they have to negate. Otherwise, they're taking a 35k triple strike to the face. So, so the next thing you can do is you can actually EX evolve into this guy for free. This two life and stand him up. And then when you swing with him, he's a 35k double strike. You can use your leader's balls. effect to remove however many cards from under your leader. Untap an energy and draw a card. Oh, nice! And then you can throw a bean on him and put him at 40. You can grab two life, untap him again, oh, nice. and swing again, and this time we'll combo. So to combo, we would go, we would go to 45, 50, 60, 70, 80, throw another bean on him, oh, nice. another 10k, throw another 10k, Toss another bean on him. Oh, throw nice! Another 10k. Toss another bean on him. And then oh, we nice. got 5k more to put on there. So that's a total of 
55, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130 double strike. Oh my god, dude! And really hard to combo out of that. But in the event that they did, you could take your last two life, stand him up, and you can't oh, die nice. the turn that you evolve into him. And then you can pay two energy and play this dude on top of him and then swing for game with him for a non triple strike. And if they somehow get out of that, then you can just overall for man on a mission and go in with man on a mission and combo out your hand. So yeah, that's a deck. It's pretty crazy. Um, if you see the pieces, which it's kind of easy to, the deck is very, very streamlined and it, it's integrated very well with itself. So you really just need, you know, one drop in the trunks and it really gets a lot of things going because you can just set yourself up for a crazy turn two and if they're going if you're going first and you can pull that off on turn two then you know they're uh unlikely that they'll have enough resources to fend off your barrage um i hope you guys enjoyed this meme deck profile this is the better soul striker i know a lot of people think this guy's not as good as soul striker but he's actually way better and he just takes a way higher skill cap to play so it's a more difficult version than soul striker soul striker is a pretty Pretty easy blue leader to play. He does the same thing all the time. This makes you make decisions and making decisions is what makes a better player. I hope you guys enjoyed this deck playthrough. Um, this is the meme deck heavyweight championship content creator fight night X winning Kaioken. Kaioken! Kaioken! Uh, but it was, yeah, it was kind of crazy to get the Kaioken into the Kaioken. But yeah, my dental tooth tip for you guys. I am a dentist. I can't end without doing a dental tooth tip. And my dental tooth tip to you is uh, don't eat raw nachos when you're not paying attention. Because, you know, if you bite on one of those raw nachos, nachos in the wrong angle you might hurt your tooth maybe chip a part of your tooth off so i recommend cooking your nachos you can cook them in uh an oven or a air fryer you know put some cheese some onion make sure your onions aren't moldy and you can put that onion on your nachos and heat them up and it'll be a lot easier for you to digest and it'll be easier on your teeth so don't forget to cook your nachos i'm joku dmd and i'll see you guys next time